Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. A study published in the journal Nutrients in 2023 by researchers at the University of Camerino in Italy showed that a multi-strain probiotic supplement may counter the negative effects of sleep deprivation on brain free radical damage, as well as brain inflammation and inflammation throughout the entire body. Now, a great deal of evidence shows that chronic sleep restriction is linked to low-grade inflammation throughout the body and in the brain. In the brain, the inflammation is triggered by immune cells in the brain called microglia cells. As well, insufficient sleep can lead to the accumulation of free radicals in our cells, which creates extensive damage, including damage to brain cells. Now, extensive free radical damage in the brain is key finding in many neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, MS, Lou Gehrig's disease, and others. Thus, reducing brain-free radicals and brain inflammation is considered to be a very desirable preventative strategy. Now, chronic sleep deprivation is defined as sleeping less than seven hours per night, but more than four hours per night. And previous studies have shown that probiotic supplementation, like live bacteria, friendly bacteria supplementation, probiotics, can reduce inflammation throughout multiple pathways, including rebalancing of the gut microflora, improving gut permeability, modulating immune function, lowering production of inflammatory, promoting cytokines that are seen in the bloodstream. So by taking probiotics, it seems to improve the gut function and reduce inflammation throughout the body. Other studies have shown that probiotic supplements improve the function of brain micro, microglia cells, which helps to prevent brain inflammation as well. So how does sleep deprivation cause inflammation? Well, studies suggest that sleep deprivation can alter the composition of the gut microflora, increasing the ratio of the unhealthy gut bacteria to the friendly gut bacteria. It appears to induce also a breakdown of the gut barrier, and these changes together enable the passage of unfriendly bacteria and their end products to enter the bloodstream, which trigger inflammatory reactions in the body and in the brain. Now, in mice that are bred to develop Alzheimer's disease, probiotic supplements have been shown to boost brain antioxidant defenses by turning on these sirtuin longevity genes that activate the synthesis of important brain antioxidants like glutathione. So, in mice who genetically are prone to Alzheimer's disease, when you give them probiotic supplements, it acts like an epigenetic switch to turn on certain genes that actually activate the synthesis of more antioxidant protection in the brain, helping to decrease this uh, free radical damage in these uh, transgenic mice. Now, in 2023, this study, these researchers administered a multi-strain probiotic supplement to normal sleeping mice and mice exposed to chronic sleep uh, restriction and assessed the extent of free radical damage and inflammation in their brains and in the bloodstream. The results showed, as expected, that chronic sleep deprivation resulted in increased free radicals and inflammation and altered gut-brain axis, altering sort of hormone levels. In the chronic sleep-deprived mice given the probiotic supplement, the probiotic supplement boosted their brain antioxidant function, reducing free radical damage to the brain, and it positively affected the gut-brain axis, resulting in lower markers of inflammation. So I think there are two important messages here. Number one, don't become chronically sleep deprived. There's a great deal of evidence shows that it has very negative effects on your gut and your brain with increasing amounts of inflammatory cytokines and free radical damage occurring. Inflammation and free radical damage production uh, promote arthritic changes, autoimmune states, neurodegenerative diseases, a weakening of the immune system. It accelerates the aging process and causes a host of other problems. So, Try not to become chronically sleep deprived in the first place. The second thing that we learn here is that the use of a multi-strain probiotic supplement can help to maintain a healthier gut, reduce inflammation, and have a positive influence on brain antioxidant protection and brain inflammation. So for many people, taking a digestive enzyme supplement that also contains prebiotics can enhance the positive effects of probiotic supplementation. I say that because Prebiotics are the foods uh, that the friendly gut, gut bacteria eat in order to thrive and reproduce in the large intestine. So combining a probiotic supplement with a supplement that has digestive enzymes and prebiotics may provide an even greater benefit for some people. 
So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.